great to have with us on the show one of my favorite buddies here, Barry Nussbaum from Parts Unknown. Of course, he is a author, attorney, political provocateur. Barry, welcome back to Crave News. So great to be with you, Ken. So, so Barry. Uh, I'll start this off. Do so, it. So, Barry, you know, we're seeing here at the federal level, uh, the president, as well as his, his administration, they are trying to reduce the amount of time that these coronavirus quarantines will last. The reason being, they want to get the economy going. On the other side, you have a lot of state leaders, uh, particularly in some left-leaning states, that are wanting to keep these quarantine measures open for a much longer time period. You know, there are a lot of people who will say the reason they're doing that is because they want... Uh, essentially it's like a localized thing you know in states like new york places like california with los angeles there's somewhat of a reasoning for that you have other people saying they're doing it on purpose because they want the economy to suffer and they want the president to lose in 2020 uh, are there merits to both sides of that argument and what do you make of it that is a simple question that we could talk about <laughs> for an hour and a half I'll, I'll i'll talk about the last part first the very commonly said talking point among I hate Trump group, which includes uh, many people in Hollywood, uh, a number of elected officials, and most of the mainstream media, the, the common thread amongst all of them is the economy has been super strong up till about two months ago. And under a strong economy, there's never been a president who has not been reelected. People vote their wallets and their pocketbooks. Most of us care most and first off about how are we doing financially. The catastrophic disruption economically, which has occurred since coronavirus blew up, has, as we all know, destroyed the economy. So the great employment numbers, especially among young people, Hispanics, African Americans, women, Asians, that set all kinds of records for the lowest numbers in American history are gone. Ergo, is Trump now uh, beatable by anybody? It's, it's probably gonna be Biden in November. And, the, and nobody knows the answer to that question. But by keeping the economy shut down, to answer your question directly, that takes away Trump's strongest campaign issue, which is, I saved the economy, I put you back to work, I created jobs, most of which is true. Now that's gone. And will it come back in time? Well, it depends who wins. The federal government, meaning, does the economy get opened up in time? or the states who don't like him and are shutting down the economy for the reason that they want Trump to lose. So they keep it closed extra time. I, I think that's what you wanted to know. That's my opinion on it. Uh, absolutely. So what do you say, playing devil's advocate here, what do you say to Governor Gavin Newsom of California, Governor Andrew Cuomo of New York, uh, you know, the governor of Illinois, any of those individuals, yes, they are left-leaning. Yes, they politically disagree with President Trump. However, every single big city essentially is run by Democrats. That's just how things work with urbanization. In those urban areas, as opposed to, say, rural Kentucky or somewhere else in middle America, you do have a lot of clustered cases at once, and it's a lot harder to stop the spread in New York City than, again, somewhere in rural Kentucky. Does that argument hold any water? And if not, why? That's a more difficult question to answer, and there's a number of reasons why it's more difficult. For example, in New Orleans, they have an enormous explosion of COVID-19 cases. Guess what? All because they held Mardi Gras. And nobody in New Orleans, either the mayor nor the governor, was smart enough to think, hmm, 50,000 drunk people hugging and kissing and sharing booze in the street all night, maybe that's not a great idea. They finally in got a secondary disease down there that's being passed around rather than, rather than the usual <laughs> epidemic they have during that time. I've been there. It is a zoo. And, to, and you talk about social distancing, there's nothing more reverse social distancing than Mardi Gras. I guess an orgy would be, but Mardi Gras is already almost that. So, you know, the explosion of COVID-19 cases in New Orleans has overwhelmed the healthcare system, and the mayor has the audacity 
to come out and say, get this, this is not a joke. It's Trump's fault because Trump didn't tell us to cancel Mardi Gras, even though it's her city and above her is the governor and he didn't think of it either. So there are cases where, you know, you got to shut things down, as you mentioned, to get your arms around it. In New York City, I saw a picture this morning of the subway system. It's still full. I mean, can you imagine a subway car with 50 people crammed into it? They're inches apart. They're breathing and coughing and sneezing on each other. They're all touching the same bench, the same strap, the same pole. And you wonder why New York is exploding with COVID-19? They're crammed in there like guinea pigs, and a couple of them are wearing masks, but all it takes is one, and the whole car is sick. So in cases like that, I would agree. In those cases, that's Cuomo state, and the mayor there, while he's very, very liberal, progressive, uh, de Blasio, uh, has not gotten a handle on social distancing. You can't ride your bike. You can't jog in the park. But you can go on the subway where you're crammed in like a hamster, I don't get it. I gotta ask you, why is that? I mean, why, why has anybody asked the mayor that there? Again, out here, people are getting arrested for surfing, they're getting arrested for going out on the golf course and stuff like that. Why is the mayor not being questioned on that? Well, keep in mind, there's the story and then how is the story reported? I have gotten a little more cynical in my later years, uh, Kent. Um, in that the, the mayor, let's say de Blasio, is being questioned by the press who really likes de Blasio, likes his politics, um, and hates the president of the United States. So they tend to ask softball questions with people that they want to support and very aggressive hardball questions with people that they want to put on the spot. You just raised an inter interesting point. I'm seeing stories of surfers up and down California in the surf, alone, I don't mean social distancing, like in the waves by themselves, the police are on shore waving this guy. I saw a video to come ashore. He came ashore. They handcuffed him. Why? He was surfing in public, and it wasn't a uh, exempt occupation, as if he could infect anybody. Now, they're going to take him to jail, where it's very crowded, and there might be COVID-19 cases because that's for the public good. I would love it if either one of you gentlemen can explain that to me, because for me, that makes no sense.